know what they say. People said that I didn't post the other video, so I just redid it, and now you know. So, welcome to Devoli's Dream. I want to show you how I'm hanging 16 foot lengths of shiplap. If you enjoy working by yourself, this is how I'm doing it. I tried a few different bracket braces and clamps, and this seems to be the most expedient way for me to do this. So if you're watching this video for ideas, it's quite possible you're like me. You don't have a crew or you're not doing this with a helper. But once in a while, getting somebody else's ideas is a good thing. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I don't think it's going to need it. And I think you can see what I'm doing. I didn't make these brackets on the scaffolding particularly pretty. I just had some scraps laying around and put them together. But as you can see, these slide side to side. So you can work your way across the ceiling, put them where you want them. That went in really well. It usually doesn't go that easy. All right. Since it's in there, I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I did shut the fan off. I don't have my microphone on. Let me take a peek here and make sure you can see my end. No, you can't. Where's my end? There's the end there. Sorry about the angle, but I think you'll get the idea. So this end right here is what I'm putting in now. That just slid into place. So I want it to stay there. I want a little bit of room for movability. Mobility. I want it exactly right. So we're touching up here. I'm just clamping on clamping this onto the previous board. Snug it up a little bit. Get that in there, bring it down. And I can work my way down my board. happy this one's going in nice. Another thing I can do is I put this little ledge and I can push up. I can put my spreader on there when I flip my clamp around and push up. Sometimes there's a curl in the board and I'm letting the tool do all the work. For those of you who are fans of tequila, I took him to a new vet yesterday to get fixed. And he was favoring one of his right rear foot and sneezing. As it turns out, he had bobcat disease. I forget what the medical term was for it, but it's a tick-borne disease. So, He's pretty sick. We did invest over $600 into him today. 
and then he has two more shots a shot in seven days and another shot in another seven days and no guarantees that's going to cure him but he's such a cool little guy Jen and I decide it's worth keeping him around that's some long money and not in my nature to do for a pet but I guess he's got my heart he's my little buddy so he doesn't seem to be sick for lack of a better word to me he only favors that one foot and sneezes um, he doesn't does not have leukemia he does have that one tick-borne illness, but there's a parasite that he doesn't have. So it wasn't all bad news. But I got a bunch of medicine for him. He did not get fixed because his immune system is compromised from being sick. So I brought him home. I left him there last night. He has some stuff going on with his feet. The vet said, so I thought staying there overnight would be the best for him, give him a night's rest. Um, but I brought him home and he ate and ran around and he was his old self. All right, oh, here we go. the idea they don't all go in that easy <laughs> some of them are quite a wrestling match to get in there but I wanted you to see that click that like button thanks for watching and if you saw the beginning of the video now you know what they say